Well, this video will probably come out about three months from now. But right now, our main concern is see if this old tractor right here will start. It is June the 9th, 2023, and this is probably going to come out September, maybe even October. I'll tell y'all more about what's going on as we go along, but uh, it's been about eight months since this old tractor was started. It's usually pretty good about starting, fingers crossed. But let me just show you what you got to do. You give her about a quarter throttle. Make sure it's in neutral. Don't want to get run over. Turn the gas on. Well, this is actually, it's, it's not a shutoff. It's a valve that switches between this tank and this tank, but I don't run anything in this tank, so I just use it for a shutoff. Anyway, turn the choke on. It's on already. And you got to open these, these little petcocks for the compressor relief. Let me go over to the other side and do that, and then I'll put you all on the stand. We'll see if the whole thing will fire up. It usually does pretty good. Uh, two or three pulls, it fires right up, but like I said, it's been eight months. And, well, she might want to give us a little trouble. We'll just have to see. Well, the old girl fired right up. It was just a few pulls. Uh, what I gotta do right now is this cultivator is gonna be in the way of what we're doing. I'm gonna loosen these bolts and just swing it up because the apparatus we're using, you know, connects to the drawbar and it's gonna be coming out here. And I might hit it when I gotta turn. I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you what we're doing in just a minute. But let me get that loosened up, swung up. We'll head down the road to the field where we're gonna be working. Well, I got the cultivator flipped up. I decided to do that in two, just to make sure it ain't in the way. Let's climb on old girl, hit the road, and head on down to the field.
Well, we're almost to the field. I got to hook up to this right here after I get this tiller. And then we're going to go right over yonder to that wheat field. Well, now that I'm hooked up to it, let me tell you a little bit about what we're doing. For those who don't know, this is what's called a wheat binder. And we have a tractor show here in September, not the not the Threshman show in Adams, but uh, we have one here right in Clarksville. Um, like I said, there's a there's a wheat field right over yonder. We're fixing to head over there and we're gonna cut that wheat, put it up, and then this September, during the show, we're gonna run it through a thresher. It's got too much in it real fast. Down? Yeah. Try one more time. Well, we may have had a little technical difficulties yesterday with this old binder. He didn't want to bind no wheat. Uh, I don't know nothing about the thing. The first day I ever saw it was yesterday uh caught in another feller that knows a little bit about it he couldn't figure it out well then somebody got to looking at it this mechanism right here is where it ties it somebody got to looking at that and realized that well it looked like the blade was dull there's a blade right there so uh we took it off last night and i just got done sharpening it i'm gonna put it back on and you can trip it by hand and see if it's going to tie and cut so as soon as i get this back on that's what i'm gonna do all right let me see if i can get this blade changed out real quick all right blade is back on let me see if i can't trip it by hand that right there is what trips it then it rolls around good for you yes sir. it's got a bunch of string wadded up here where it ain't been cut so let me get that cleared out and we'll trip it by hand yeah look at all that wadded up in there the string's got to come through here and then on the first try 
you have to tie it off somewhere and then after that it don't matter so let me get her tied off then let us strip it by hand my camera <laughs> My camera keeps falling. I didn't bring my good tripod. But anyway, let me trip it again, see what it does. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. All right. Well, it still won't cut it, so that's good. <laughs> something, well, something is wrong. Let me study on it a little bit, and I'll be back, because we're going to figure this out one way or the other. Well, here's the deal. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with it. <laughs> like I told y'all yesterday, that's the first time I ever seen this little machine. We got two or three different issues. The cutter was one issue. Got that fixed. It's cutting it now. But the string, well, let me show you over here. You put the string down in this little bucket right here. See it there? And it just pulls it out. Well, uh, pulling it out causes, you know, it, you're unraveling it and it's twisting. And it's causing knots. Like that right there. And then it gets hung up in this roller right here. Let's see if I can get in there and show you. See that roller right there it gets hung up there. And then a knot of catch right there and the string breaks or it just won't pull it through. So I don't know what to do about that. And then the other issue is it's tying. It's doing like it's supposed to. But let's see if I can get down in here. We don't see it. See this little fella right here where my finger's at? That's the twisty turny thing that actually does the tying. And it slips up in here like you see his little jaw well y'all probably can't see it because my thumb's in the way anyways little jaw there it is it's open now and that string goes in there and it turns twists and ties it then it has to slip back off of it well for some reason they don't want to slip off of it uh so as soon as i figure that out well i'll be back and hopefully i'll tell y'all i got it fixed well i got it to successfully tie and cut a couple of times well then the string broke it's what I was talking about, you know, it ravels and knots up, but it, you can see it all right there built up in that needle, and she broke. So we got to figure out the string issue. I don't know how we're gonna do it. You know, I don't know on a new baler, because, you know, I'm not a farmer. But with anything that's rolled up like that, if you just pull it off, it's gonna twist. See how it's doing right there? It needs to actually unroll and you know, of course, this is not going to unroll. Um, I just wonder if back in the day they had a different, you know, maybe it was an actual ball of twine and it unrolled. I don't know. But that's an issue that, well, we got to figure it out or it ain't going to work. Um, anyway, let me thread this again. And uh, maybe I can get it to tie a couple of times and show y'all. Well, I got it tying the knot about 90% of the time now. Uh, that's a spring adjustment on this twister tire knotter thing. Been fooling with it, and it's doing pretty good. But <laughs> just as soon as I think it's all right, well, the string will knot up and it'll break string. So until we get the string situation fixed, this it won't, it won't last long. Uh, let me put y'all on the stand there and watch it tie a couple. Hopefully. I know my hand is about wore out. Pulling on the string. See, it just knotted up right <laughs> then. Yes, sir. It sure did. Well, yep. Right there in that same spot every time. Uh, let's just see if we'll tie one. Ta-da! We get the string situation fixed. I think we'll be A-OK. -okay. Supposed to be getting a different uh, thing, a twine string. Try it out, but I don't know. We got to figure something out, though. Well, we put us a new roll of twine on there, and it appears that it's not, it's not knotting up. And I done tied three in a row, so I think we're good to go. Let me fire this whole thing up right here, and we'll, 
We'll go to binding some wheat. Well, it's hit and miss on whether it's going to time or not. We just did probably 10 or so, and then all of a sudden it just, the knot has trouble slipping off. See, like that right there, it's done, it's done knotted up. Hold up. Well, it broke the string that time, don't know why, but I got up under there rerouting the string and noticed that there's one eye that I don't believe has ever been used. Uh, maybe that'll make a difference. I don't know, we'll see. It tied that one. It tied that one. Maybe we got it now, I don't know. By George, I think we might have it. It's tying them all now. Yes, sir. See this right here, right here. Well, be a seat here. You got an operator that sits up there, controls all them levers. What them levers do? <laughs> I ain't got a clue. Oh. Well, we have had a minor mishap. One of these paddles, I don't know what you call them. It is broke, see right there. Uh, can't go no more until we get that fixed. Well, we decided just go ahead and take them off. I'm not real sure what they're for. I think it sort of helped lay this down on that conveyor belt. I'm assuming anyway. We're gonna run without it. I think it'll be all right. We'll fix it for next year. This is not the proper way to do this, but it's gonna be three months before we thresh this. So we're just putting on this wagon and, uh, well, we're gonna leave it sitting outside uh, cause that can build up enough heat to catch on fire, it sure can. You leave it sitting outside for a day or two, then you can put it in a barn. But normally what you would do is you would shock it. Basically it's just a certain way you pile it up here and put some on top of it and. You know, it might stay out in the field a week or two and then the thresher will come through and you'll pitch it in the thresher. But we can't do that because, like I said, it's gonna be a few months before we thresh it. Anyway, we're making a little progress. We're about to run out of wagons, as you can see. <laughs> we done mashed it down and piling some more on it. Uh, might, well, I think we got one more wagon we can use. Might go get it.
Ain't nothing like living in the country. Well, I think I'm running out of gas. <laughs> yes, sir, and it's almost dark, too, and we ain't done. I reckon we'll have to go get some gas. Well, I got me a little bit of gas, and <laughs> as you can see, it's even darker now. Let's see if I can get this started. I don't know if we'll get this done tonight or not. It's supposed to rain tomorrow. We need to get this picked up. Well, she started up. Let me get up there and see if we can get this done. It is 8.36. <laughs> As you can tell, it's dark. I got about two more passes to make. I think we'll get it done. That's the wagon right there. They're loading it down. I'm waiting for it to get out of my way. I think we, we can get it done. Well, it's about 9 o'clock. We finally got it done. <laughs> let, me, let me show you this mound of wheat we got right here. <laughs> I don't know if it's going to stay on the wagon or not. But we got it on there. I think I'm going to take that old wheat binder back where it goes. And I'm going to go to the house. Well, it's back on where it belongs. be another year before we use it. But we ain't done with this video. We got more to do. Well, it's been three, three and a half months since we've done anything on this video. Um, what we got right here is sorghum. I had intentions of uh, videoing breaking the ground and getting it in the ground and plowing it and whatnot, but somebody beat me to it. So I didn't get to video it, but we're fixing to cut it today, yes sir. And then hopefully we'll get to run it through that press that we worked on last week. Uh, but anyway, it's pretty tall. I'm assuming they saved some of them seeds, I don't really know. But I ain't really looking forward to this cause weeds, snakes, ticks. Yes sir, I didn't bring my tick spray, so <laughs> I hope I don't get none on me. Anyway, as soon as everybody gets here, we'll start cutting this down. Well, everybody showed up. And let me just walk y'all through what you got to do real quick. First, you cut it off. And then you got to cut the head of it off. And then he brings it over here. Runs it through this apparatus. Strips the leaves off of it. Just like that right there. Pitch it on the wagon. That's about all you do. I reckon we need to get a cutting. We cut till dark the other night and as you can see we didn't get maybe half of it probably not even half of it uh next day everybody had things to do places to go people to see so we didn't get to cut that day well the day after that it come a flood 
made it too muddy to get out here. So we decided let's just go with what we got. So, uh, well, here's the deal. We're gonna do a little experimenting with what's left here. Rumor is that if you leave the leaves on and run it through the press, it'll give it a bitter taste. Well, we wanna, we wanna test that. So we're gonna cut the rest of this down with the leaves. We're not gonna strip the leaves off. Run it through the press. I'm gonna cook it down. We'll compare it to the other. If it tastes bitter, well, then we know that's true. If it don't taste bitter, well, we may not worry about stripping the leaves off anymore. So yes, or be, be looking for us to cut this down in the next few days. Well, we are here at the tractor show this morning. Things ain't got to rolling yet. They will for too long. I got to unload the old golf cart here. Oh, let me tell you this. I was informed two days ago <laughs> I'll be running the sawmill. Yes, sir. Sure, we'll be in the sorghum press too, I guess. Uh, I, I'm gonna embarrass my handy dandy assistant right now. <laughs> he forgot to take off work today. Yes, sir. So he won't be here till this afternoon when he gets off work. So I get to run the sawmill. Should be interesting. I've never run it before. Anyway, let me unload this and we'll get over there and get started. Well, we're having a little trouble getting this motor started for some reason. It didn't want to start yesterday either. We had to hook it up to the little cub with a belt, get her spinning and get it started. I don't know what's going on with it. It started pretty good the other day. We finally got the whole thing running. I think it's got carburetor issues. Um, it got rained on a couple days ago. I didn't know it was supposed to rain. You know, it was sitting outside at my house. Uh, matter of fact, water got in the cylinder. I had to get that out. It may have a little bit of water mixed in with the gasoline, so might need to drain that tank sometime. Anyway, we're gonna we're gonna do a little sorghum pressing right now. We got us a decent amount of stalks right now. Oh, we done choked her down, it looks like. I believe we got us a sprocket loose right here. I'm gonna go get the uh, Allen wrenches to tighten it up. Maybe that'll take care of that problem. All right, I got them tightened up. We're fixing to throw the belt back on. Let's see what it'll do. That fixed it. Let's do a little sorghum pressing. I'm anxious to make that molasses. Are you ready to compete? What are you ready, young fellow? What are you ready? Quite a bit of juice flowing right there. They're pretty flat once it gets done with them too. Oh, 
Also, and oh, by the way, I got some fresh, clean food grade buckets this year instead of axle grease buckets. I'm hoping it tastes just a little bit better than it did last year. Well, we've been running her probably 30 minutes or so. <laughs> we might have a gallon in there. This is a really, really slow process. But if you wonder why I got this filter on it, well, it's catching a bunch of crap. See all this stuff right in here? Keeps that from getting down in it. I don't have to uh, filter it later. I just wanted to show y'all something. This is a more modern sorghum press. It's what we call a variable pitch press. The gap is bigger. <laughs> at the top than it is the bottom so if you got a big stalk you put it up here you got a skinny stalk you put it down there yes we would have modernized this thing and didn't even know it well i reckon he's gonna keep running that for a little bit because we still got quite a bit of sorghum to do i gotta go over here and run this sawmill hopefully like i said i ain't never run this thing before it might get interesting We got an issue with it. Remember that little piece of wood right there? That's what sort of keeps this blade straight. Well, it keeps backing off. And it's backed off now, and the collar over here is backed off, so we gotta move it, and I gotta move that back in too. What we're doing, this whole shaft keeps moving this way to get the blade. Well, we're six inches on one end, seven on the other. The shaft keeps moving. We, I don't really know why, but these collars ain't holding it. We're going to put some shims under. Maybe we can get it a little bit tighter. Maybe the holes. I kind of doubt it, though. Yeah, it's standard. Decent. Sets anymore. They've got all that somebody backyard. But I, you break that, I got, I got a snap-on set there that's about four hundred dollars snap-on set you can do most anything you want with it. <laughs> well the shaft keeps loosening up and it's done got this well it ain't square it's seven inches down here six down there we done swapped it 
uh, we were trying to cut the small end first and well it just bend the blade and start smoking it so swap this round we're gonna try to go from seven to six I don't know if we'll succeed but we are gonna try it nine years old and it's tired and it's wore out it just jumped off the track as you can see right there she needs some work we gotta figure out what's going on I ain't doing it today I'm hot I'm aggravated fully on it well we're gonna get back on the sorghum press over here if this motor will start <laughs> hopefully it will but I kind of doubt it the way the day's been going we still got a whole lot of sorghum to press the juice out of Well, she wouldn't hand crank. <laughs> Had to hook her up to the cub again. We ain't shutting her off that we're done with all that. No. And then it's probably going to go back to my house and that thing is going to start good before I'm done with it. Well, they had a parade of all the tractors. They go around the whole building and come through the middle. Well, I was busy footing with that sawmill. I didn't get the video, so let's Walk down through here and look at all these tractors real quick.
That's that great big old tractor I made a video of, well, about a year ago. Y'all remember, at the first of the video, all that wheat we cut down? Well, here it is right here. They're running it through this old thresher. John Deere B pulled this thing last year. It's almost all that it wanted, but it pulled it. There's the end product right there. Well, as you can see, we got the cub running the sorghum press now. Yes, this little feller just quit out of the blue. <laughs> I cranked and cranked on it, would not start. We hooked the cub up to it, it would not start. I said, fooey on it. We'll just hook the cub straight to it. Turning a lot faster, we're gonna get done a lot quicker. I got to work on that carburetor. This building right here is where they usually run all their small engines. No, that ain't oh. fair. That fan. Yeah. That ain't fair. It's going the other way. Oh, okay. <laughs> grinding corn right here. Very, very old steam engine right here. I believe that's some of the sorghum I made last year. Tastes real good. I'll send it to whoever wants to try it. <laughs> We're almost done. Ain't got just a few more stalks left. We'll be done with this. My handy dandy assistant just showed up. I reckon we'll go down there and pull that sawmill a little bit. Well, we're throwing in the towel on the old sawmill. They're loading up what few boards we got right there. Um, well, you see what it's doing right here. See how thin it is there. See how thick it is right there where you start. That blade's bowed a little bit, and I believe it's pushing the wood this way, and that's, that's how why it's doing that. And them blades there, they are not cheap. No, sir. 
we've adjusted the thing every which way you can think of it's just it won't do right may have to have a new blade well we didn't get quite five gallons of sorghum juices no sir but that's that's quite a bit more than i got last year <laughs> i don't think there's gonna be any grease in this one um like i told you all we're experimenting what's left in the field we're not gonna strip the leaves off run it through the press i'll cook it down separate than this i'm gonna do that in uh in a different video that will be on the second channel i've decided to put this video here on the first channel as you have seen for different reasons anyway be looking for that and well probably gonna work on that aggravating motor right there to try to get it running right like i told y'all that blade right there well she got a little bit curved but it's cooling off and it's straightening back up so that may be part of the issue i don't know i'm not a sawyer i don't know how to run a saw i'm gonna learn we're gonna we're gonna work on this thing get it just a little bit better anyway appreciate y'all watching hope you enjoyed it if you don't mind hit that like comment subscribe share it with your friends and until next time Go do something. Blur, blurp.